Marcus Collins, you're going to be next That's week at the Blockchain Innovation Conference and you're going to talk about urban farming. Where are you now? I'm in Singapore. I'm in a, the CBD of Singapore. I'll show you the, the view I have when I'm not working and looking out of the window. Yeah. Well, so that this looks Ocean Financial Center. There you go. Yeah, that looks exactly like uh, Singapore. And uh, you've yeah. been wor you've been working there for a long time, right? What is your normal daily job? I, yeah, I'm, I'm, my daily job is uh, I'm an international attorney, uh, yeah. Dutch and U.S. educated, originally yeah. from Rotterdam, been in Asia for the last 30 years, in Singapore for the last five years. Okay. Um, what is the problem? Uh, what problems do, does Singapore have and what are you trying to solve? Well, Singapore is uh, nearly completely dependent on imports as far as most of their goods are concerned, especially as far as fruits and vegetables are concerned. And our solution uh, is uh, made to contribute to the food security uh -huh. and the food supply here by being able to produce locally on a fairly small area of land uh, uh, with a very high production per square meter so that they will be less dependent on imports. And we can grow here about 100 different types of vegetables and herbs, soft and hard herbs. So that is the, uh, that's the, um, the, the reason we're here. And um, as you may know, the Singapore government is very um, wary of being dependent on other countries. And they have a policy in place since last month where they want to, be, uh, 30, they want to grow 30% of their produce in Singapore. And so they want to be less dependent on importation. How much is it now? Uh, they only grow eight percent. Okay. So ninety-two percent is. Yeah, you have very little space in Singapore. What kind of spaces are you going to use, and what is the basic technology? It's um, it's what most people know as a vertical farm. So it's a farm that is uh, indoors with artificial lighting, um, with in in layers. So um, you have in our case, we will grow in four to five layers. Uh -huh. And we can grow about a hundred different crops, uh, varying from um, um, uh, crops of uh, lettuce to rucola to kale to uh, herbs like dill and uh, yeah. cilantro, etc., yeah. etc. Et At every modern uh, creative uh, festival, I see it, uh, and it's really interesting that you're going to do it in a production uh, uh, case. What is the use of the blockchain? Uh, why is that important? Well, the the people here, particularly after the milk powder scandal in China, are very wary of the origins of the things they eat here, uh, Singaporeans particularly. Uh, they get a lot of products from outside, as I explained to you, from Malaysia, from Thailand, from Australia. Sometimes it says it's organic, sometimes it says it didn't use any chemicals, but how do they know, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah. with the blockchain, we can have a track and trace system which can assure the consumers who buy our product uh, that they can check where it's from um, so far from farm to fork as they often say use an alliteration uh, it's also used for uh, basically the whole supply chain which we can do through the uh, blockchain which is now a trend also in the agro and food industry you see it with Walmart you see it with many companies uh, across the world who are now moving onto the blockchain for very obvious reasons um, and we also want to create a, um, a loyalty program for retail consumers uh, on the blockchain which makes it um, which is much easier to do in the blockchain than otherwise so those are the three ma main reasons we're using the blockchain and of course uh, don't forget the data that we want to collect fascinating well I'm looking forward you're going to come to Holland and next week we'll see you then at uh, ABN AMRO at the Blockchain Innovation Conference, we want to know all about it. It's interesting that Dutch people are doing uh, agriculture in Singapore and then use the, the blockchain to support it. Uh, you could never don't come up forget, with it. It's the Dutch blockchain we're using from a Dutch company, so it's a double double Dutch okay. double Dutch approach. So <laughs> I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you next Thursday. All right. Thank you. See you then, Marcus. Bye. -bye. Bye. Jeroen Bronkhorst, you're the innovation lead at uh, HP Enterprise. What is your involvement with this uh, urban uh, farming um, partners project? Well, we are involved in this uh, initiative uh, by providing actually the blockchain on which uh, um, uh, the the, uh, the project will be will be run. Mm -hmm. uh, and as Marcus explained, uh, we'll be helping in uh, in uh, providing these uh, track and trace functionality, the security tokens, and the utility tokens that are required for this uh, for this initiative. 
and you have a product, uh, right? It's uh, you, you have a, a standard standard method to, to work with that. Uh, describe what kind of product that is. Yes, we have a, an, a, a, an offering that we call Blockchain in a Box. Um, and we have developed that together with our partner Timeless and SUSE. Um, and we actually uh, help to uh, take away a lot of the effort that is required to get things up and running. So we are uh, hiding the technical complexity and making sure that you can have a, a blockchain environment up and running very quickly. Mm -hmm. And there is also a lot of technology in this uh, blockchain environment that helps to integrate with legacy systems or to help to do the transactions faster than what you typically in a, in a expect from a blockchain. Mm -hmm. Describe the blockchain. What 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 are the features? What then? Uh, what kind of transactions can you do, and how much can you store in it? Well, we have uh, we are using the uh, uh, Tendermint protocol or Byzantine fault tolerance uh, in order to come up with uh, thousands of transactions per second, if that's required. Um, and we are also in uh, including um, APIs and uh, connectors to make sure that you can link very quickly to uh, to other systems uh, and have that all up and running very quickly. So everybody knows uh, HP Enterprise. Um, what is Timeless? What is what kind of partner is that? So Timeless is a software partner. They actually provide the blockchain platform. Uh, SUSE provides the container platform that lays underneath the blockchain platform, and we provide a hyperconverged system that uh, helps to not only run the blockchain but also any legacy applications that you would run to want to run next to it, basically. Okay. And uh, be up and running uh, on time. Oh yes, we'll be working hand in hand on that one. Okay. So more about that at the Blockchain Innovation Conference. Vertical farming in Singapore and to have a uh, blockchain in a box to support actually what's needed for security, tracking and tracing and also the loyalty tokens. So stay tuned.